today I'm also doing a video on uh, cleaning brushes. So right now we're just running warm water. It's not like really hot. Just lukewarm water. And I have all my stuff here that needs to be cleaned. So um, I'm just going to show you a few different things. I'm going to show you just a regular bristled brush and then a hoof pick. And then these, you just rinse these off or set them in hot water pretty much. So I'll show you these three. Regular bristle brush, oh, and the curry thing. And I'll get my other curry. So what you're gonna need is a sink or a tub. And that's about good for my water. You need a sink or a tub, um, a cup, which is optional. Um, you're gonna need Oh my goodness, hold on, give me one second. <sighs> Liquid soap, and you can stare at our ceiling for a minute while I go grab my other items that you're gonna need. Um, sorry, we're also going to need Q tips and a towel. So, we're gonna get like, okay, so for hoof pick, um, I'm gonna use my cup and I'm gonna run pure hot water, just plain hot water, and fill it up relatively good. And then take your hoof pick and shove it in there and just let it soak, okay? Ooh. Oh goodness. Well, that's what the towel is for. Okay, so we're gonna take our bristle brush, I'm gonna use this one because this is my dirtiest one so you can see how it really works a curry comb and a regular brush so I'm going to take our items and I'm just going to throw them in the water and kind of swish them around you're going to see with the bristled brush this is going to be like the dirtiest I don't know can you, you can kind of see the dirt just kind of floating around in there now and I'm going to rub it along the bottom and see how it already gets quite a bit out. So, okay. So that gets most of the stuff off. Some of it. So I'm just going to kind of swirl these around in here. Um, regular hairbrush. Just kind of rub. And you can just rub these along the bottom. And then bristles, you can use your fingers too to get deeper down. So do that. I'm going to let some of this water out. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of film floating on top from everything. A lot of that's from the curry comb, the film, because it gets a whole bunch of little dust particles up. So, we want just barely enough in here. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now, I'm going to grab my soap, and I'm just going to pour some soap in the water for right now. Squeeze. Sorry, this is kind of hard to do with one hand in such a big jug. There. Okay, so we just put a whole bunch of soap on the side right here. So I'm going to get some of that in the water. and We're going to get that in the water and swish it around. And this is antibacterial soap, and that's going to be really important. Like, if you're... The reason you're washing your brush is because um, a horse has rain rot or something. You're really going to want the antibacterial stuff. So we're just going to swish that everything around some more. Like you, you can see, it's still, this is still coming out. And our drain doesn't work very well, so I have to add water from time to time. Yeah, there's a bug in our box, I guess. Or on the bottom of that. I think it's dead. A little bug, a little spider. I'm gonna take that out. Make sure it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. Okay. So we got that done. So now for my bristle brush, I'm going to take most of the water out and I'm going to put just a little bit of soap on it. You don't want to like drench it in soap. So we're just going to wait for it to kind of blog out. Blog